Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I've got an exciting video for you today. Uh, we're going to be looking at another one of these uh, Falcone sets from Brazil. And uh, these are very reminiscent of Adventure Team G.I. Joe's. Obviously they're produced in a foreign country and it was sort of difficult to sort of obtain these, but uh, Cotswold Collectibles was um, generous enough to, and persistent enough to actually make sure to uh, stock some of these in their online store and make sure that uh, collectors here in America could actually get these sets because uh, these things really are as close to as you can get to a vintage style Adventure Team G.I. Joe but done in a um, a brand new set. So um, I haven't seen anything else uh, even remotely uh, similar to this uh, coming from most other companies. So uh, very excited to get this and previously in another video I reviewed the uh, futuristic Falcone uh, the uh, sort of atomic ray paralyzing attack set. So uh, that set was really great, uh, but this set is even more massive. So this is the astronaut set. And um, I did, I used uh, Google to try and translate some of this uh, Portuguese text. Uh, some of it doesn't really translate all that well. Uh, so up here at the top, uh, you can see uh, what it says here. And this translates to commands in action. And I'm guessing that's probably not necessarily what it's supposed to mean. It could be Action Commander or something like that. So uh, that one didn't quite translate. Uh, this right here actually says Eagle Eyes, They Really Move. Uh, so that's really cool. Featuring this, uh, this is an Eagle Eyes figure, so the uh, eyes move back and forth. And of course we got Astronaut, and this uh, translates to uh, Space Reconnaissance. So that's really cool. Over here, we got uh, Eagle Eyes mentioned again. And this also says uh, Action and Adventure. And down here, Space Reconnaissance Astronaut again. And then here on the back, we got some more text. Uh, this says Moving Eyes, Fully Articulated, uh, Natural Looking Hair. And this translates to uh, Hands That Really Grip. So referring to the sort of gripping hands or Kung Fu Grip hands. Again, this sends uh, commands in action. Again, I don't think that's necessarily a perfect translation of that. So in terms of the contents, we got a uh, gray Eagle Eyes Falcone, one pair of boots, one overalls or uh, jumpsuit, one backpack, one helmet, one pickaxe, one signal light, one radio transmitter, one camera, one tracker, and a sticker sheet. So they mention all the various things. And again, over here, uh, they have a mention to the, the hands that really grip. So really fantastic graphics on this. And again, you can see pictures of the various other sets. And I, I have this one, obviously, that I reviewed previously on the channel. And uh, I noticed uh, on Cotswold's site, there's also a samurai figure, uh, which is kind of expensive. I believe it's the same price as this one, which I believe is around, it's around $100. Uh, so... I'm sort of contemplating getting that set. It has a lot of unique properties, uh, but it's not quite as elaborate as this particular set. Um, so I don't know as it's necessarily uh, gonna be justified in terms of the cost. I'll have to look at my budget and decide uh, whether or not it's worth it to get that set. But uh, this set looks really fantastic in the package. I do wanna point out one other thing before we actually get this open. Uh, I wanted to compare it to uh, one of my Timeless Collection sets. So in terms of uh, the presentation and everything of this box style figure, uh, these are very similar to sort of the the, um, the Timeless Collection sets like this Black Spider Rendezvous, uh, but the box is a little bit taller. Uh, you can see the difference in height right here. So, uh, so if you're planning on displaying these together with your uh, box Timeless Collection sets, just keep in mind that the box uh, will be slightly bigger than some of those sets. So just plan accordingly if you're going to present these things side by side in the package in your collection. But enough about the package. Uh, I think it looks great, but I'm anxious to get this out of the package and take a look at the figure and uh, some of the details. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we got this figure out of the package now. And uh, overall, I'm just very impressed with the sheer volume of items that are included with this particular set. And I want to go through uh, each of these items and eventually I want to assemble uh, the entire figure together with the backpack and everything so you can see what it looks like when it's fully fully put together. Um, I don't think I'm going to apply the stickers right away. Um, 
I want to make sure that I'm putting on, them on the right way. They don't provide any instructions in terms of st sticker application or actually how you assemble this figure together. So uh, I want to make sure that um, before I put these on there that I'm actually putting them on there the right way. Maybe there isn't a right or wrong way to put them on there, but I don't want to have to, uh, you know, undo a, a mistake or whatever. So this one goes on the top of the helmet, and then these two little stickers go on either side of this piece here. So I just don't know uh, which orientation is the correct way to do them. So I'm going to hold off on that for now. So in terms of the other accessories that are included, uh, you can see it comes with this pickaxe, uh, and uh, I think the details on this look pretty good. Uh, I believe this is probably a reproduction of a G.I. Joe item, uh, but I'm not entirely sure. So looks pretty cool. Also comes uh, with this radio. So this one's pretty simple, um, kind of similar to uh, other radios that I've seen uh, for various G.I. Joe sets. Also comes with a set of dog tags. So these are done in plastic. And they include uh, imagery for, you can see Falcone there on this one. And this one says Brazil and also has the Falcone logo on there. So pretty cool. Uh, also includes this uh, signal light. And this is actually pretty similar to the ones that were provided with the Timeless Collection, but in a different color scheme. So all the ones that I have are actually black with sort of um, yellowish lens. So it's actually really cool to have a white one with this blue lens. So... So that looks very cool. Also uh, comes with this helmet, and the helmet uh, does pivot backwards. So you can see you can actually lift the visor out of the way, and then it comes back down and it clips into place. And again, uh, that long sticker actually goes uh, across here. But uh, again, I'm going to hold off putting that on there just because I want to make sure I get it on there the correct way. So also comes uh, with these oxygen tanks. And uh, these do look pretty similar to, you know, G.I. Joe tanks, just without the sort of a scuba regulator and the sort of attachment point um, that allows it to strap to the back of the figure. So, so sort of a bare bones version of the scuba tanks. And also includes uh, this uh, parachute pack, uh, which is, I believe, very similar to uh, the G.I. Joe style parachute pack, but this one's done all in white. Uh, so that's very nice. I may actually end up using this for a different set uh, and just get the... Um, sort of rig that actually attaches it to the figure and maybe use this on a different set. Because uh, in, in terms of how it's used for this particular set, uh, it ends up just being inside of the other cloth backpack. So I'm not really too sure if it's totally utilized. Uh, you can see this cloth backpack is quite huge, uh, pretty reminiscent of, you know, the kind of um, backpacks that were used uh, in the missions to the moon, the Apollo astronauts uh, when they're walking around on the moon. They usually have these sort of large backpacks. Same for the um, on the International Space Station when they're um, when they're doing an EVA, uh, they the astronauts typically have a sort of large backpack attached to them. So, uh, and I'm not really too sure uh, how these parts actually attach. I think they maybe they're meant to represent um, oxygen tubes. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to try to assemble this. But again, they didn't provide any instructions in terms of the correct way to do it. So I'm going to do my best to try and um, put it together in such a way that it actually uh, makes the most amount of sense. Now, in terms of the figure itself, uh, I did notice um, on this side of this piece, uh, this part does appear to be broken. Uh, I believe this, this part should come all the way across. I could be mistaken about that because it does t tend to sort of pop loose all the time. Uh, and actually, when I first received this, uh, it was actually pop loose and I put it back into place. But... Um, yeah, it does have a tendency to sort of pop out. And I noticed that a lot of the elastic on this is actually quite loose. Uh, in order to attach the camera to the arm and have it be secure, I actually had to double up the elastic on that and loop it around there twice in order to uh, have it securely in, in position. So, so yeah, some of the elastic does seem to be uh, kind of loose on this figure. So just something to keep in mind. Uh, I do like the details on this, though. Uh, I think that looks pretty cool. And in terms of all the detail on the uniform and everything, it uh, looks pretty awesome. I love these boots, too. Um, as you can see, these have the, uh, the Falcone logo on them on the very side of it. So these are definitely uh, unique boots to my collection. I don't really have anything, you know, quite like this in my collection. Lots of straps and so forth and parts on this uniform, including uh, these gloves. And uh, this is the muscle body figure, it should be noted. And I'm not going to go over the articulation on this figure because I've actually done that in a separate video. 
Uh, I'll put a link in the description to, um, to that video. And I'm actually going to include uh, the footage from that video at the end of this video so you can actually see what the articulation is like on the muscle body. I'll just include that footage at the tail end of this video so you can actually see it without having to click away to a different video. And uh, another thing that should be noted that is that there's a full-on uh, white bodysuit underneath this suit too. So that's kind of a bonus. I wasn't really expecting that. So um, so that goes from head to toe all in white. So uh, that could potentially be used uh, on a different set. It's, it's completely hidden on the set underneath the uh, astronaut suit. So uh, it's possible I may want to use that uh, for some other set at some point. A couple of interesting features about the head sculpt on this, uh, as you can see, is flocked in a gray flocking, uh, which is different from anything else that I have in my collection. And this one also includes the eagle eyes feature. So uh, you can see this little lever right here on the back of the head of the figure. So when you move that back and forth, it allows the eyes to move from side to side. So you can see he can take on different positions with eyes. So, so that's a very cool feature. Um, this is the first eagle eye figure that I have in my collection. Uh, so very exciting to have that. Um, so the uh, figure looks great, and I'm going to go ahead and assemble this as fully as I can with all the various pieces to show you what that looks like. So stay tuned. Okay, so here I've assembled uh, the entire figure together, uh, aside from the stickers. Uh, again, I'm just, I'm not too sure of the positioning of them. Uh, those two small stickers go here and here, and then the larger sticker goes on the helmet. Uh, but uh I just don't want to put them on the wrong way and, you know, have it be messed up. So, but you can see what the backpack looks like on it. And um, so the oxygen tank and that other um, shell for the parachute pack are both inside of here. They both fit in there and that looks good. Kind of fills that out. And I believe this is more or less the correct way to assemble this. Uh, as you can see, these two little pieces on the side represent sort of like oxygen tubes uh, that are fitting in and they clip in um, to a little piece of Velcro that's on the elastic behind there. So they just kind of attach to that and uh, I believe that makes the most sense. I can actually show you, I'll just undo this so you can see uh, these two little tabs are just hooked on to this elastic piece right there. So I believe that is more or less the correct way to do it, um, but I could be wrong. Uh, it seemed to make the most sense just in terms of there being uh, an attachment point there on the elastic that seemed to uh, hook into those little two pieces. So, and you can see the camera here. You can see the pickaxe is in this hand. His uh, signal flasher is here in this hand. And I just clipped the radio right in here. And as you can see, the helmet looks very cool on his head. So overall, I think this figure is just uh, really spectacular. And I'm super excited to uh, have this figure in my collection. Very excited to have an eagle eyes figure and also a gray hair figure. Both of those are unique properties uh, that make this uh, quite interesting as a set. So for the rest of the video, I'm gonna uh, roll the footage that uh, shows the articulation on muscle body figures. So stay tuned for that. This is generally referred to as the muscle body. Uh, the beefing up of GI Joe was due to the competition. Uh, figures like Big Jim that had been introduced um, to the perception of uh, the buying audience. Um, he looked more muscular than G.I. Joe, even though he was smaller in stature. So in order to keep up with the competition, uh, Hasbro felt it necessary to kind of make G.I. Joe a lot more muscular and uh, sort of change the articulation quite a bit. So, uh, so this is significantly different in terms of the articulation from the original 1960s G.I. Joe. You'll notice at the neck post, um, he actually has the swivel joint up here. Uh, so it actually acts like a ball joint. So he gets like full range of motion back and forth, side to side and swivel at the head. So pretty good articulation at the neck on this figure. At the shoulder, he can extend out. Also gets 360 degree rotation. At the elbow, not quite as good as articulation as on the original G.I. Joe, but he does get a bend and also a swivel there. At the wrist, it's pretty similar to the original G.I. Joe. As you can see, you can bend back and forth. And there's also a rotation there. And as you can see, he's got the Kung Fu grip hands. So obviously uh, able to hold on to weapons and gear uh, much better than the original G.I. Joe. At the waist, he's got some side to side movement back and forth and also a pivot. And um, interesting, this, this particular version of this muscle body is, is produced uh, by Estrella 
You can see the markings on the back of this. Uh, so this one was actually produced in Brazil, but the articulation on this figure is very much the same as the original muscle body produced by Hasbro. At the hip, he can kick out, kick forward, kick back a little bit. He also gets uh, thigh rotation in there. You can see a lot of side to side movement. At the knee, he gets a bend. And also there's rotation there just below the knee. You can see from side to side. And then at the feet, uh, he gets bending back and forth like this and also rotation. So decent articulation. It's not quite as good as the original G.I. Joe, uh, but if you are looking for a figure that's a little bit more muscular, uh, this one might actually be well suited to that. That's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more reviews of G.I. Joe and other 12 inch action figures in the future, think about subscribing to my channel because I will be covering more of this kind of stuff in future videos. Until next time, I hope you're having a great day and thanks for watching.